Quick, what's the best part of Spider-Man for the PS4? Some will say it's the combat, and others will claim it's the stealth missions. <laughs> Just kidding, you'd have to be out of your mind to enjoy those stealth missions. But there is a part of the game that almost everyone enjoys. Web swinging. And since I like to test out new forms of torture, I decided to beat Spider-Man for the PS4 without swinging. Okay, let's get into why this challenge is going to be a nightmare. I am not allowed to swing for any reason. The run button and the swing button are the same, so there will be a couple of times where I accidentally briefly swing, but I will not be counting those. I'll also be avoiding using the web zip, web attacks, and basically anything involving webs. I'll be avoiding them at all costs, but things like the web zip can be used if absolutely necessary to advance through the game. The third and final rule is that I have to play on the hardest difficulty I have access to. So let's just hop right into the gameplay and you've got to be kidding me. Yeah, the game basically softlocks us here. And you might be thinking that I'm screwed, but fortunately, you can hold down the R2 button for like a second which doesn't start the swing animation, but lets us buy without swinging. And unfortunately, as much as I enjoy throwing my sticky white stuff all over the inhabitants of New York, I will be running to each and every objective. Yep, this is gonna take a while. Come on, Yuri, I've been waiting eight years for this. Yes, Peter, you say that while you casually stroll over to Fisk's place. Am I missing something? I mean, other than the web slinging. Can you just not run in this game? I don't know, maybe I'm just stupid or something. Edit, this is future me? Yes, I am stupid. There is a run button, but I just didn't know it at the time. And man, the only redeeming quality about playing the game like this is that I finally have time to practice my Spider-Man 3 impression. Okay, we finally get to Fisk's place, and we have to use our webs a bunch here for a tutorial. But fortunately, we don't need to swing. We then had to fight some bad guys, and it was pretty much the same as usual. Hitting the square button more than my dad hits me. And trust me, that's really saying something. Fisk may be a dirty criminal, but he has remarkably clean air vents. Peter, what the hell is your definition of clean? You can see black mold right here. Jesus, why am I playing as Spider-Man? Did you see the hops on that guy? We then get to some QTEs, and for some reason you can fail almost all of them with no punishment. And that's the first mission done. We get a skill point, and I know what you might be thinking. Oh yeah, he definitely put it into Defender. And no, for two reasons, which I'll explain later. We then got to work for like 10 minutes, and this is where I introduce the bane of this run. Other than chase sections, these heavies are a nightmare to kill without webbing them up. I got into my first fight with one of them, and died an embarrassingly large amount of times. But fortunately, I figured it out after a while, and then did some more work. We then got another upgrade point, and spent it on the ability to do cool tricks while in the air. And yes, there is a method to my madness, well, at least I hope there is. To be honest, I kind of blacked out while playing this game. We then got a new suit, and oh, come on. When I accidentally leave a little white on my pants, people make fun of me. But when Spider-Man puts white stripes all over his costume, people think it's cool? Fine, whatever. And hell yeah! When I first found out that I had the Toby suit unlocked, I chose that as soon as possible. And my Spider-Man 3 cosplay was finally complete. Finger guns and all. We then got to this construction site, and holy crap, I forgot how good the combat was in this game. Hey, uh, Spider-Man, could you come over to this roof? Could you please, you, can you come over? You kind of kicked me off this ledge and then just left me alone, man. That's not cool. Okay, okay, we finish off the fight, and I know what you might be thinking. Man, this guy is so stupid. Why did he pick all those worthless perks? And you'd be right, I am stupid, but I picked those perks for a reason. I have no idea if this is faster, but it is definitely more fun than running. Man, the photo mode in this game is so cool. And all the frame borders are so awesome. Like this one. And oh, I like that one. Man, all of these are just so cool. 
Wait, what was that? Huh, nothing. Wow, these challenges are really doing something to my head. Sorry, I've been messing around with the camera for a bit. It's just that my mom is a photographer and I've always hoped that I inherited some sort of skill or talent from her, as I've always kind of looked up to- Ass Blaster 24, come on man, I was, I was having a moment. Fine, screw it, never mind. Those masks, who are these guys? Jeez, Peter, relax. They're obviously just weebs. Like, who else would wear a mask like that? Come on, let's just leave. So we then got to control MJ, and it was pretty much the exact same as usual. Cause, uh, she doesn't have webs to swing from. Obviously. So, I messed around a bit, and then we got to this shocker chase. And oh my god, I spent so long just chasing after him here, and nothing seemed to work. You have to be in the around 25 meter area in order to tackle Shocker here, but even with my hopping strategy, I never even got close to that. So unfortunately, I ended up having to web zip a bunch here in order to catch him. But don't worry, I never had to swing or anything like that. Oh, and this chase even with the web zipping was still hard as hell. It took me around 30 minutes just to catch him. So I was into horses. Wasn't everybody at some point? Yeah, you really seemed to be into horses as a kid. Wish May would take some of this down. It's embarrassing. I agree with you, Peter. Some of this stuff is actually really disturbing, to be honest. We then got to this Oscorp research station, and the game really, really wants you to swing through these smoke clouds, but... I only ever breathe in harmful chemicals if they're watermelon flavored. Vaping community? That was a joke. Please, I have so much to live. Okay, well, I don't have much to live for, but, um... Oh, I'm, I'm thinking, just give me a second. Um... Oh, I have a dog that would be really sad if I died. Okay. Jokes aside, I was able to get through this section without swinging. Feels like I'm breathing from a tailpipe! <laughs> it's okay, Peter. I've been there and done that as well. We then got into another fight with Shocker, which is a joke compared to the chase we did earlier. You brought this on yourself. Literally. No, he didn't, Peter. Did you forget that we were the ones who pulled down a chandelier on him? Oh yeah! I should tell you about what skills I got. Well, I invested into the point launch boost only for emergencies, so that if we get into another chase and I can't run, it'll be a little bit easier on me. <laughs> oh god, this is so perfect. When you knock an enemy into the water, they just swim there and watch you. <laughs> They're all just swimming, not saying anything, not trying to get out of the water. Uh, it's so good. We then got into another chase, and to be honest, I was kind of scared, but fortunately, I was able to catch up with this little shortcut. Now watch this, ow, oh, okay now watch this, oh come on, how are you supposed to do this? Okay it took me a little bit and I almost died, which was a little embarrassing, but I was able to finish it off. We then had to fight some demons and, <laughs> dude, what was that throw? My arms are basically two pieces of wet spaghetti, and I could still throw farther than that. Yeah, taking out these guys wasn't too hard. Oh! So this is what it's like to be Asian. Okay, I'm just joking, I know that this is just a mask, but seriously, how do they see anything? I'm talking about the demons in masks, okay, not Asian people. We then got to another chase, which was annoying as hell. I mean like, why did I even fail here? I can literally see the helicopter right there. But thankfully, after a little bit of just running around, I was able to follow the helicopter and finally take it down. We then got to some quick time events, and I don't know if this one counts as a web swing or not. I won't count it for now, but feel free to tell me if you think it counts. We then got to this section and... Jesus... People are dying and hurt. I'm sorry, I genuinely didn't remember this part of the game. 
But to make sure I'd remember for next time, I took some pictures! Here's some of the best ones. Okay, I have to be honest, that last one was just a picture of actual New York right now. Hey you dick! I know that you're trying to save my mom and all, but could you get out of the way? You're ruining my selfie. Oh, um, Miles, I, I don't know if I'd post that one right now. It might get you into a little bit of trouble. We then did some sneaking as MJ, and... What do you mean, can't go back now? That guy's head just got popped like it was a meaty balloon. And you want to continue? Okay, okay, we got to a costume party and... Oh my god. Wow, I, I can't believe the game just went there. Jesus, that was pretty... <gasps> oh my god. I'm so sorry. It's, <laughs> it's just that this guy shoots himself. And then we get a close-up of his stupid lizard feet and tail. <sighs> ah, I'm going to hell. Delaney didn't make it. Lee made him kill himself. That's horrible. Yeah, it was a real sh- <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I can't hold it back. It was so funny. I went to see Aunt May at Feast, and oh my god. I didn't realize Aunt May was that old, but- She's starting to lose her mind. Look at that, she just cuts the same carrot over and over, but nothing changes. Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. That is crazy. We then had to chase this massive truck. What are you doing to me? Giving you a new perspective. Aw, mm -hmm. oh, fuck, not again. We then got into another boss fight, and it was pretty much the exact same as usual. We have footage from a guy at a coffee shop. Looks like he hopped into a black sedan after the crash. Black sedan, great. Wait, Peter, what were you gonna do with that information? I mean, what? You were gonna check every single black sedan in New York? Man, I knew they can't see through those masks. Like, this guy just stared straight at me. Okay, we then get to this puzzle, and because I have a stupid caveman brain, I didn't even bother to try and solve it. I just brute forced it until it worked. <laughs> Did this diagram really have to include Dr. O's double chin? Like, Jesus, is that really necessary? Oh my god. God, I haven't seen that move in 10,000 years. They call it glitching the fuck out in a car. A legendary move only ever performed by mass- Oh. Oh, okay, never mind, that was pretty easy. Nice heartwarming story, Aunt May. I really feel that- Wait, are you making mustard sandwiches right now? No wonder half the people here are going insane. Okay, we get through a bunch of story stuff, and then we get to this prison break. Damn it. They got it to the armory! Is that bad? No, Peter, it's a good thing. We want them to have guns. Fucking dumbass. Hey, um, I know that there's a whole entire prison break going on, but can someone help? I'm just kinda stuck. Oh, I got it, never mind. Wait, what do you mean how to spot them? Almost all of the prisoners haven't bothered to change out of their bright orange jumpsuits. Otto Octavius is nothing if not persuasive. I know that Doc Ock has released a deadly disease into the atmosphere, and has killed tens of thousands, but did he just refer to himself in the third person? Yep, he's gone too far, we can't save him. We then got to this Electro and Vulture fight, and it was quite the doozy. Both of these enemies fly, and it is super hard to get close to them without swinging. 
The vulture was easier as he would just throw projectiles at me and I would just throw them back, but Electro was way harder. You have to web him up, but unfortunately, it only works if you're really close to him. So I have to leap right next to him and web him up, which is a lot harder than it sounds. And don't even get me started on these generators. The reason that the generators are so annoying is that when you get close to the ground, Spider-Man will automatically web up. And because I can't swing, I would just get stuck going up and down, up and down. Then add in a little generator that spams you with lightning, and congratulations, you found a way to waste two hours of my life. Yeah, this fight took me way too long. But thankfully, after a while, I was finally able to finish it off. We then got to this scorpion fight, and Jesus Christ, this fight is so much harder than the last one. The whole entire gimmick of this fight is that the floor is slowly rising with poison, and that you're supposed to be swinging everywhere. But, this is where my secret weapon comes in. Remember when I bought those two abilities before? I have no idea if this is faster, but it is definitely more fun than running. Well, I actually bought them so that in sections like these, it would actually be possible. As now, I'm able to leap from building to building. Like here's a normal jump, and then here's one with the upgrades. And to be honest, with these abilities, it wasn't too hard. But then we get to this. This is supposed to be a little peaceful section that is supposed to be a little cool down after all the action. And guess what? I died here more times than I can count. What's most frustrating is that this section isn't even hard. So why did I keep on dying here? Like, look at this. I just walked off that ledge. What the hell was I thinking? How the hell did I find this harder than the poisoned scorpion filled hellhole? But anyways, after more than a little bit of trying, I was finally able to finish it off. You just oh, that up smash. And now, oh, so of course so. Combo. Happy feet. Happy combo feet. combo. That ain't Falco. That ain't Falco. Oh, 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 oh. He was planning this right under my nose. Peter, how big is your fucking nose? He was literally drawing his plans on this whiteboard. Have you ever heard the saying, the writing was on the wall? Well in this case, the writing was literally written on the fucking wall, you absolute- Come on, let's keep digging through it. You aren't digging through anything, you're just staring at a fucking box. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just that scorpion fight really got me mad. Anyways, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I'm sneaking past some armed guards that could kill me at any second. So yeah, it's another sneak section, and it's basically the exact same as usual. We then get to this rhino fight, and it was pretty much the exact same as usual. Oh gee fuck, Jesus. Man, I don't know what's scarier. The fact that rhino just killed me that quickly, or the fact that the game is forcing me to stare at his crotch. We then broke into Norman's apartment, and... Oh, shit, this is, this is kind of fucked up. Like, who puts a couch in their bathroom? Okay, we get to this fight with Martin, and it's pretty much the exact same. We then upgraded our suit, and got to the final boss battle. And it was pretty easy, all things considered. It was a little bit tedious and repetitive, because the only way I could web him up was through perfect dodges, but... After a couple of web zips, I was able to take him down. Weirdly though, without me even touching the controller, Peter had a weird fascination with jumping off the building. Didn't know me and him had so much in common. Okay, we wrapped up the boss fight, cried a little. Okay, I cried a lot, and beat Spider-Man without swinging. Wow, that was actually a lot more fun than I expected. Here's the results for how much I swang. S swang is... Is that a word? Okay, well anyways, here you can see that I did swing a little bit, but i just like to say that I did swing a little bit when I wanted to take pictures or just goof around. And also remember that the run button and the swing button are the same. So yeah, I bet a lot of those swings are just accidents. Oh god, did I just relate to a stat in a video game? Eh. Anyways, thanks for watching, and if you really enjoyed, then it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. 
And if you have any challenge ideas for any game, then please leave them down below. And, well, I think that's about it. I'll see you next week.